Jihadi to join ISIS is pleading to return to UK justice after becoming disillusioned. A Jihadi to join ISIS wants to return home and face justice after becoming disillusioned with the self-declared caliphate, it has been revealed. Shabazz Sulman disappeared while on a family holiday to Turkey three years ago to join the Islamic State. He was in Raqqa, the de facto capital of Islamic State, until its recent fall. The former grammar school pupil from High Wycombe, Buckinghamshire, said that he became disillusioned with jihadism and chose to desert the terrorist group. In a note in June, he said, I no longer know who I am. For years, we have witnessed the atrocities of Bashar al-Assad. The barrel bombs, summary executions, the grim torture videos on YouTube of Syrian skulls being smashed open with cinder blocks. I could not just sit by idly and allow Muslims to continue being oppressed. So I did what was in my capability. Protest, fundraise and spread the cause on social media. Sadly, it was not enough. Another year would pass and the oppression and killings merely increased. The international community had ignored the people of Syria and had abandoned them shamelessly. It appeared to me that there was only one final option. Jihad. By encrypted messages he told the Times he went through intense indoctrination by the group, adding, I never thought I was being brainwashed until I saw the way they treat other Sunnis. Sulman risked his life to maintain contact on the agreement that his story not be published until he was dead or beyond the borders of ISIS territory. He first made contact with the paper under the assumed name of Abu Shamal al Britani to justify his reasons to join ISIS. He said he disliked the government and their foreign policy and rejected democracy as a system of government. However, Sulman claims he grew rapidly disillusioned and fearful inside the Islamic State. His father, Afzal Sulman, 46, said he knew for a fact that his son had become a civilian and had not been on the battlefield for two years. He said, he never killed anyone or anything. At the end of the day if he has committed a crime he should go to court. We just want him home. Sulman is thought to have left ISIS-controlled territory and is in the hands of a Turkish militia. He reportedly admits undergoing weapons training and carrying out guard duties, but denies taking part in killings. Speaking from Jerobulus on the Syrian border with Turkey, Sulman said, Everyone's leaving. I got out a week and a half ago. I spent a couple of months in Deir Ezzer. I was a wall. I got into a car and I drove with one of the fighters because they were retreating. It was everyone, not just ISIS, it was huge, a mass exodus. There was heavy bombing. ISIS in Deir Ezzer has collapsed, everyone's just running away. He said that ISIS agents are hunting deserters, he added, they kill you if you try to escape. One of the smugglers told me he was not meant to be helping me because they would kill him. It comes after Government Minister Rory Stewart said the only way of dealing with British Islamic State fighters in Syria is to kill them in almost every case. Max Hill QC, the independent reviewer of terrorism legislation, called for a focus on reintegration in cases where authorities have decided individuals who return should not face prosecution. Mr. Hill said it was right the security services have left space for those who traveled out of a sense of naivety, at a young age and who return in a state of utter disillusionment to be diverted away from the criminal courts. A report released this week said Britain has one of the largest populations of returning fighters and others who traveled to join Islamic State. Around 850 UK-linked individuals of national security concern made the journey to engage with the conflict in Syria, with just under half of those believed to have come back. The figure of approximately 425 returnees is the fourth highest for individual nations in an analysis published by the Sufan Center and the Global Strategy Network.